Hello my lovelies, my name is Stephanie, but you can call me Steph, and welcome back to my channel. So earlier this week I had the privilege of going live with Not A Phase, the charity I supported during my Transgender Awareness Week kind of video series. If you've not seen that, I will link it above, below, everywhere that good videos are linked. But in that series I supported a charity with the monetization of the videos, thanks to you guys, so thank you so much. And I had the privilege of going live with them the other day to discuss my transition as a child and how I transitioned as a child in the United Kingdom. So I am gonna drop a link to that as well and a link to their Instagram page so you can go and watch that kind of live. So for a bit of context, I am, <laughs> I'm an adult now, obviously, but I did transition as a child. So I came out at the age of 11. And the reason Not A Fae has asked me to go on their Instagram and talk to them about this is because in the United Kingdom in the last week, a high court ruled, can't believe it, a high court ruled that children under the age of 16 will have to go through high court and go through legal processes in order to have themselves be prescribed blockers, go on hormones and things like that because essentially a high court has decided because one person detransitioned, people under the age of 16 can't decide their own gender identity. I am the same age as the person who filed the legal complaints against the Tavistock and Portman Clinic, which is a clinic in London and it's the only gender identity clinic specifically for children in England. And because they decided to detransition as an adult, it's therefore the Tavistock and Portman's fault for not trying to convince them to not transition and things like that. And so it's very, very messy and I am the exact same age as that person. We had the exact same transition timeline and I'm here to tell you that I did not detransition. So children clearly can choose their gender identity and have kind of full, all of their faculties together in order to choose their gender identity from a young age because I chose my name at 12 and I came out at 11 and I'm still living my life as myself. <laughs> so we don't all detransition. <laughs> So transitioning as a child for myself started at the age of 11, but I had had feelings about having a female gender identity from as early as around about, I don't know, three. So it was a really difficult thing to discuss because essentially you're just kind of, the whole world's against you. Everyone is questioning your transition at different points in times and it's a really difficult thing to try and navigate because you're not only dealing with the stress of transitioning but you're also dealing with the stress of other people coming at you and doing things like that. So I transitioned from the age of 11. Um, I'm gonna give you a brief timeline. So transitioned from the age of 11. I was having counseling in secondary school up until the age of about 12. I officially came out as transgender as 12. I did do a video on coming out, so I'll link that above as well. But I did come out at the age of 12. I then had my referral to my local therapy center when I was 12. Then I had my first appointment at the Tavistock and Portman Gender Identity Clinic when I was 13, 14. I was at the Tavistock and Portman Clinic for two years before I was referred to a hospital and I was at that hospital for another further three and a half years before I was referred for hormone blockers. So there seems to be this idea that children get given hormone blockers like they're smarties, like they show up one day and they have a gender identity that doesn't align with their biological sex and the GIC just gives them drugs. And let me tell you, there is a huge amount of hoops that you have to jump through before you can be prescribed hormones and before you can go down that route. So that is absolutely not the case. Transitioning as a child for myself was really difficult, not only because I did it in school and because of where I came from in the United Kingdom, but because my hormones were so delayed and they were delayed because I had other health problems. And then I was forced to go through testosterone because I was told that I needed to experience my biological hormone because I hadn't yet because my puberty had been stopped by all of these different health issues and pituitary glands and underactive thyroids and things like that. And so, I was told that I had to experience that for at least a few months to increase my bone density and make sure I was sure. I never wanted this, but I went through for it. And let me tell you that the three months I was on testosterone were the darkest months of my young life. I was suicidal, I was getting body hair, I was 
growing in different ways and things like that and I just did not like it so I flat out refused any further medical treatment, sacrificed my long-term health in order to present as female and just decided one day that I wasn't going to do it. So that is kind of my transition as a child in a nutshell is I went when I was 11 and 12, I refused to take testosterone at the age of 15, 16. I was then prescribed blockers, so a hormone blocker, and I was prescribed Decapeptil. It's an injection that goes in your bum and it stops your natural hormones. So for me, that was testosterone. And then they block your hormones for a certain amount of time before they prescribe you a different hormone. So my hormones were being blocked from the age of 16. And then I was prescribed hormones at the age of 17 and received them a week after my 18th birthday. So from the age of coming out and going for my first therapy referral to actually getting hormones was about five, six years. So this idea that people are just being handed it is just crazy to me. I just wanted to kind of break down that timeline for you and tell you that it was really hard. It was a really hard thing to do and I think people look at me now as an adult and they think, oh, she's got it kind of together, she presents and she passes. I've been transitioning for over a decade and the struggles were aplenty, let me tell you. But it's just the strangest thing to think that a law has been passed, which is an entirely transphobic law, which says that children under the age of 16 can't determine their own gender identity. I'm sorry, but if children under the age of 16 can be prescribed contraception, then they can absolutely choose their own gender identity. 70 years ago, a 15 year old would be getting married and buying a house. So let's not pretend like young people and teenagers and children don't have the faculties to know their own identity because they absolutely do. To the trans youth out there who have been devastated by this news and to the parents of those trans children, trans youth, I just wanted to say that there are plans in place to have this overturned and you can fight back. You can still get hormones prescribed to your child, but you do have to go through the legal battle, but you will, there will be people fighting to overrule this because it's ridiculous and I am living proof that people do not always detransition and that most times the gender identity clinic does do what it's meant to do and you get people like me who have transitioned as young people and then get to live their lives from the age of a young adult as their authentic self. Taking away that is so, it's so devaluing to trans people and to trans youth and it's honestly absolutely disgusting and I cannot believe that it's happening but that's the situation that we're in. I just wanted to say to the person that filed this lawsuit, you may not identify as a trans individual now, but you did for a large portion of your life. You fully knowing and being fully aware of the struggle of trans youth have taken that away from generations of people who will not detransition. So I hope you're really fucking ashamed of yourself. I hope you are really, really ashamed of what you've done to the community that most likely supported you during your transition and probably held you up because you have completely stabbed them in the back. And how dare you take that choice away from trans youth because you are spitting in the face of people like me who the system works for and who get to transition. I'm not gonna get emotional because I'm really angry. Coping as a trans child is something that will never be easy, but having a good support network around you, and if you don't have that, having great support through counselling, which is available in your school. So I highly recommend that you go to your school counsellor and ask them about this and talk to them about this because that's what they're there for. There are online places where you can go online platforms and online youth groups. There are online charities such as Mermaids, which I will be linking in the description below, which will support you as a trans youth. There are channels like my own, people who are talking about their transitions, people who are living proof that it gets better because you continue to flourish and you continue to grow as a trans adult. So please don't give up hope. Please don't go to a dark place because I know with something as stressful as this that Trans youth suicide could just skyrocket, which is another reason this person should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. But 
don't go down that road because it gets so much better and you're going to be okay, I promise you are. But this is just something we're gonna have to fight for and let's be honest, it's not the first time that trans people have fought for something. We can absolutely do this and I believe in you. And I just wanted to say that I am living proof that transitioning as a child is valid and is worthwhile and your choices are valid and you are absolutely gonna be fine. So taking those coping mechanisms of having, you know, a great support network and counselling and things like that and focusing on getting kids better and youth groups. I hope that this video inspires you to go forwards and be like, do you know what, it is gonna be a long journey and it is and the wait times are gonna be huge and they are, but one day you'll be a young adult sharing your transition maybe just like I am, living your authentic life, just doing a job, going to university, living your life and being valid. And I hope that that video is this for you. I will one day go more in depth into what it was like to transition as a child. But I just wanted to make this video in reaction to the live I did and in reaction to this law that's been passed. We can fight this and we will fight this. And you as a trans youth are valid and important. You as a trans parent, mermaids can help you too. Don't panic about watching your child go through this irreversible change that they don't want to do because it can be fought and we can do it. So if you guys would like to see a more in-depth video of what it was like for me to transition as a child, then please do let me know in the comments down below. I hope you are having a lovely day and I hope you are staying safe. If you enjoy this video, subscribe and other channel and Instagram, all, all, you know, it's not about me. Um, it's just not. So I will see you in a few days for another video. Stay strong, you are valid. Don't let one detransitioned poster child invalidate you. Okay. Okay guys, ran over. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will see you in a few days for another video. Bye.